Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome to a new ridiculous 7 Days to Die series. This one is called G9's Taco Truck and this is my taco truck right here as you can see and the objective for this series is to hold down the taco truck against zombie hordes which are going to occur every single night as you can tell by the title. So that's going to make this pretty fucking hard. I'm starting off with the fish taco recipe. I mean, we're running a taco truck. We got to know how to make tacos. So I'm going to read this. And fish tacos are the only tacos in the game. And to make them, you need a can of salmon and two pieces of cornmeal. That's right. I don't give a shit. We got to make tacos. It's going to happen. Granted, we can find the salmon. Anyway, before we get in the taco truck and start moving things along here, let me knock out these initial quests and uh, go over the settings with you guys for this series. The difficulty is set to Warrior. I find Warrior difficulty here in Alpha 20 has a pretty good balance to it. It's not that easy, but it's not too difficult either. And when I say difficult, I mean it doesn't really turn the zombies into bullet sponges, and that's a good thing. So... Uh, that's that. Blood Moon Frequency is every night, of course. It's Horde every night. Uh, zombie Day Speed is set to Jog. Loot Respawn Time is disabled. The Blood Moon Count is maxed out at 64 zombies. And I did turn airdrops on, which I usually keep off, but here in Horde every night, we can use all the help we can get. We got the Desert Biome right here, which is good. Um... Got some birds already, though, and probably coyotes out there, so I'm going to avoid that for now. I'm just looking for some stone to harvest. Uh, all other settings are default. Hey, chicken. And we are playing on a random gen world. The seed for this world is taco truck, all one word, and both T's are capitalized. Let's go ahead and make our pants and our shirt, and let's get some more wood. And let's get some stone as well so we can finish off these challenges and head back to the taco truck. That bird is flying around here and I don't like it. Let's head this way. We can go ahead and make our bow and uh, seven arrows. Need more feathers. Here we go. Ooh, and a couple of eggs. Nice. Let's go ahead and make that frame. Put that thing down and upgrade it. Bam. Now, a campfire, and we are done with these challenges. I'd like to get some more stone, though. And unfortunately, I don't see any close by. There's some down there. Um, oh, hold up. All right, that's it for the initial quests. Trader is not far away, which is nice, and we've got four skill points to spend. I'm going to put one in Strength, one in Skull Crusher, one in Sexual Tyrannosaurus, and let's throw one into uh, Agility. Okay. Let's go ahead and craft... Uh, oh, we need some more plant fiber, and we can make a level two stone sledgehammer, and then we need to find a bit more stone. There we go. Let's get a little more wood, then we'll head back to the taco truck, get storage put down, and we'll do some looting. Ooh, a couple of robotics books right there, and let's sustain a bit more life here closer to the taco truck, because we are going to need more wood, because I think I'm going to go with... Some spikes around the taco truck. I usually don't make spikes. Uh, not for any particular reason. I just usually don't. Uh, I got the land claim block put down. Not that we're going to get any zombie respawns here at the taco truck. But that's just more of a way to mark my area. You know, instead of putting an icon down on the map. A few more books right there. Look at that. Flaming arrows. That's nice. Deadly combo. Um... Okay, we might have to make some spears here. Spears degrade slower. Uh, robotic turret shells. And uh, robots and stun batons degrade slower. Nice. Okay, let's get in the truck here. Boom, G9's taco truck. 
Starting right off with a cooking pot. That's the benefits of owning a taco truck there. Some iron and some pipes. Rotten flesh. More rotten flesh. A red tea. What do we got in here? Ravioli. How am I going to make tacos with ravioli? Some blackstrap coffee. And uh, that is it. All right. Well... Uh, I want to wait till we get a wrench so we can take these apart, but we can go ahead and knock this shit out here uh, and this too. Oh, that's got a thousand hit points. We'll let that stay for now. Oh, I forgot to search these cupboards up here. Some murky water. Let's get rid of these cupboards now. Those got a thousand hit points. We'll let them stay. That too. Let's get rid of this here. Uh, all this shit, like I said, I want to take apart with the wrench. Hopefully we can find one today. Let's get all these bullshit blocks out of here, though. Well, it's got a thousand hit points. We'll take this out right here. And this also. And we'll replace these spaces with blocks that we can actually upgrade. This door requires forged iron to repair, so I'm probably just going to end up taking it out and replacing it with our own door or a hatch. We'll see. Not necessary for tonight. I'll put a hatch outside that door for tonight and then uh, possibly knock that door out uh, after the hoard or whatever. I mean, it's day one of hoard every night. We've done this plenty of times in the past. We know... Even if we have a really good day today and kill a bunch of zombies and get a bunch of XP, the most we'll see tonight is like three zombies, maybe. We need a shovel. God, I'm such a little bitch here in the beginning. How many times do I gotta hit this woman in the head with the club? Now, I am going for a sledgehammer build by putting points into Skull Crusher, but sometimes it does pay to use the club here in the beginning instead, just because it's faster and uses less stamina. Where do they keep the salmon? We gotta make tacos. So we got a vending machine right here. That doesn't work. Whoop. Hey, lady. Lady, this is the ladies' room. What are you doing? I mean, you use whatever bathroom you want to use. It's the apocalypse. No one gives a shit. But the ladies' room, I'm sure, is cleaner. So, uh... That's your call. Yeah, no, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to bash your fucking brains in and find salmon for my fish tacos. Water. I can't believe they make you... use salmon. But there should be variations of tacos, right? I mean, why do I gotta use salmon and make fish tacos? I should be able to make beef tacos and chicken tacos. I should be able to make cat food tacos. And there's tuna fish in the game. I should be able to use... Oh, look at that! Holy shit, we just godfathered a pistol out of the toilet on day one. That is sweet. And we can find some uh, 9mm rounds now. Be looking good. Yeah, no, no bullets, unfortunately. Guns used to come loaded in this game. Not anymore. Now they're all empty. Uh, we already searched this bathroom. Okay, um, I think there's a false wall right here. There is. And there's probably a zombie in there. Yep, and she's awake. Whatever. There we go. Chicken stock. Oh, Grandpa's Learning Elixir gives us a 20% XP boost. Uh, great to use during a horde night. I won't use it tonight, though, because like I said earlier, we might get two or three zombies tonight. Not worth it. Nice. There might be another one in the corner, though. Let's go around. Nope. 
We are clear. Oh wait, there's a kitchen area over here I didn't search. Let's do this first. Oh. Come on out of there, Thick. Come on, there's a doorway. Use it. Pop. Got another one. Nice. All right, let's search this room. Then we'll do the kitchen. Oh, that's a nice little grab right there. A steroid and a first aid kit. Let's grab this cobblestone. Uh, we'll do the kitchen area, and then we'll go do that back area where the passing gas crates are, and then we'll head up to the rooftop, and we'll be done here. Now, the trader is not far away, but I don't think we're going to go do the trader today. There's no real rush to get there, especially on day one. Uh, nice. Cornmeal. Taking it. And take this vitamin also and eat this food. That's three pieces of cornmeal. We can make one fish taco if we had salmon. I know, I don't want to hear the cornmeal shit. Listen, we gotta make tacos, okay? My love for tacos outweighs my hatred for cornmeal. That's just how it is. Uh, but, uh, going back to the trader, I know people like to rush there on day one. Don't do it if you're not feeling comfortable, because even though the trader is close by, anything can happen on a walk over there. You know, a wolf could attack us, a coyote, a bear... You know, anything can happen. And if something like that happens, we're fucked. Because we have, like, no stamina. We have no good weapons. So you're better off just kind of, uh, look, cat food. See, we can make, we should be able to make a cat food taco. But anyway, you do what you want in terms of the trader. I'm gonna save it for tomorrow. No reason to take that walk today. Unless we can find some 9mm ammo, since we already found the pistol. Then... That's a different story. We can actually defend ourselves against a wolf or a bear. Maybe not a bear. Oh, nice little grab right there. Some repair kits. This vehicle light mod thing. We'll just read it. And a wheel. That's good. Let's grab this cobblestone. We got a zombie or possibly two at the back door here. Not too worried about that. Let's pop this crate open. Moil and an iron sledgehammer schematic, which we already know, and I believe we already know that because we put that point in Skull Crusher. Uh, I'm going to hold on to that, though. We can sell that. Let's, uh... Oh, grab this cobblestone, and then I'll pop the back door open. We'll deal with uh, whatever zombies are back there, and then we'll run back to the taco truck and unload before we head up to the rooftop, because we're pretty encumbered right now. Oh, we got another one. Let's take a breather behind this door. All right. Boom. Dead. Nice. Usually I don't unload shots like that uh, without taking a bit of a breather in between, but I did just then because I had a door that I could hide behind. You got to be careful with melee in the beginning, especially when using a sledgehammer. If you take a power attack at a zombie and you knock them down, take a second. You know what I mean? You don't have to hit them again right away. Give yourself a couple of seconds to recover some stamina and then hit them again. Oh, waking someone up. I see Skinny Pete sleeping in the background. Oh, dead. Nice. Might be another one up here, though. There we go. Uh, let's pop this open here with an arrow. Not sure if there's a zombie hiding behind there or not. Nope. Got one right there, though. He's up. And he's the last one, it looks like. He's down. Slight breather. Didn't kill him. That killed him. Now, if that third shot didn't kill him, I would have switched to the club. Nice little grab right there. Some level three scrap iron boots I will put on. We got some uh, lamb rations. Scrap these chairs. And I think there's something behind here. Some trash. Wood and iron, and that'll do it. We need some more wood. 
Look how close the trader is. That's nice. But even still, I'm not going to risk taking that walk today. Now, this Buddy Grains, POI, is that what it's called? Buddy Grains? Something like that. There's some resources in there. That's good. I think it's mostly cement, though, which we don't really need right now. Uh, let's see if we can hop down on this car without spraining our leg. Yeah, we're good. All right, let's get some more wood because I spent all of mine making spikes and I was only able to make 15. Costs a lot of wood to make spikes. Uh, we're definitely going to need more than 15. Oh, this kind of sucks. We can't put the spikes up against the back of the truck because the back of the truck is made with plates and we can't put them on the floor either because we've got these floor plates. Unless we knock them out, but for now I'm just going to float them right here along the back and uh, hopefully they do something. Now obviously, as you can see, I'm allowing myself to put traps around the taco truck, but I'm not going to build out the taco truck in any way using additional blocks or plates or bars or anything like that. I feel like that would kind of be cheating. So uh, no building out the taco truck, but we can line the inside with additional plates or bars or whatever. We can do whatever the fuck we want on the inside of the truck, but I'm not going to build it out at all or build a wall around it or a mega structure around it. That's not the point of the series. The point of the series is to hold down the taco truck but like I just said and like you just saw I am going to allow myself to put traps around the truck now, sounds like we woke up uh, at least one zombie in this place here he comes see the only one I think so come on buddy there we go Now, this could be a good place to find a wrench, which is one thing I'm on the lookout for right now. We could put a skill point into salvage operations, which opens up the uh, ability to craft the wrench, but we'll still need forged iron to craft it, which we don't have right now. So, we'll just see which comes first. If we can find a wrench first, great. If we find enough forged iron to craft one first, then we'll put a point into salvage operations. And I think for a level one wrench, it costs about 12 pieces of forged iron. Oh, dropping in from above. Let's get this chair out of the way. Come get some, buddy. that piece of paper stone and cement clay soil empty can well one man's trash is another man's trash this bathroom appears to be clear murky water couple of empty cans and that is it got a ramp going up to the roof and we're waking zombies up oh coming down off the rooftop and it sounds like there's another one in the other bathroom as well let's deal with uh thick right here first down he goes close the door take a little breather and do that again. Dead. Alright, uh, what's going on in here? Oh, another thick. In the bathroom stall. Now let's let him finish doing his duty in there. Let's deal with this guy, punching down, because apparently he doesn't see the big giant fucking hole in the roof. Here he comes. Dog food. Why can't I replace the salmon with dog food and just make the goddamn tacos? I mean, like I said, you should be able to make tacos with anything. Any kind of meat and a flour tortilla is a taco, in my opinion. Oh, did Dick break out? Yeah, he did. Son of a bitch.
Oh, that's clear. I was expecting a dog in there, to be honest. Oh, shit. Guess I had to give it a second for this guy to spawn in. Uh, looks like this is the way to go. Let's pop this plug open real quick. Hey, look at that. Holy shit, the ratchet schematic. That's a nice day one find right there. Well, I don't see any zombies, so let's just drop in, I guess, onto this car. And wake them all up. Or just that guy. Where's he going? To the ladder. You sneaky bastard. Get back here. This guy was going up uh, on the roof to flank me. And the other one uh, sounds like is at this door right here, which I'm not going to open yet. Vegetable stew recipe. Yeah, that's what that is. We'll scrap the brass and the cans. First aid supplies. Okay. And uh, this goes up to the roof. We could have just taken this down instead of jumping in that hole, but whatever. I guess we're going down here now. Is the main stash, and here comes a zombie. Let's lead him up the stairs. Uh, we better deal with this one before we go down. Oh, he's pissed. Ah, <laughs> dumbass. Hey, wrench schematic, I'll take it. Now we definitely don't have to put a point in the salvage operations, not to unlock the wrench anyway. Yeah, 12 pieces of forged iron and some duct tape and mechanical parts. We can pull those things together once we find the forged iron anyway. And we could still find the wrench before we find the forged iron. That's always a possibility. Uh, salvaged operations is good, though, for... Salvaging resources, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure that's what that perk does. Uh, gets you more shit from harvesting things with the wrench or a ratchet or uh, what's the other one? It's been so long since I've had one of those things. Uh, I can't even think of what it's fucking called now. Impact driver, that's what it is. Uh, anyway, I don't think I'll be putting points in the salvage operations in this series. We got more important things to worry about than collecting junk. We'd be better off putting points into, uh, mother load. Oh, look at that! Handlebars and another wheel! All we need to do is find the chassis and we could put together a bicycle. That would be pretty sweet. Have a bike on day two? I wouldn't mind that. All right, well, I was hoping to find some 9mm ammo since we have a pistol uh, for tonight. I didn't. I did find a pipe shotgun, though, and we did find a few shotgun shells before. Not many. Maybe a handful. Um, we got this, too. 10% uh, more damage against coyotes, which is nice since we're right by the desert biome. And uh, an iron shovel, which I will replace my stone shovel with. All right, um, we should probably make some more spikes. Okay, snake is down. A little more meat right here. We're gonna have to throw a point into Master Chef so we can boil some meat. We got a zombie and a crawler. Let's deal with these fuckers. I came out here looking for stone because we need some. I would like to make some more arrows before the horde starts, even though I think we'll be fine just using melee. Oh, there's some more shotgun shells. That's good. Only had five, now we got 17. All right, that's perfectly fine. Even though, you know what? I did see some stone. Uh, or over here. We might as well harvest it since we're out here. 
Okay, we gotta fucking go. Let me grab some plant fiber, because I would like to make a few spears as well. One! I thought I had enough plant fiber. What, uh... Wood! Shit, running out of wood again. Oh boy, alright, we gotta go. We are cutting it way too close here. Look at that timing right there, perfect. Alright, let's bring a spear down. Get a couple more crafted. Not that I think we're really going to need the spears, but I don't know. They give you extra reach, so I thought it'd be easier to use spears from this vantage point here. Oh! Close that. Hatch. They are hitting the spikes, which is good. He's down. Come on. Fucking pipe shotgun takes two years to reload. Get out of here! Nice. Oh, the vantage point when they're down below and I'm up here, that's not good. I gotta do something about that. I mean, I don't think putting steps leading up to the door is... Uh, I know I said I wasn't gonna build out any, but putting steps in so they can get up to me easier is far from cheating, I think. And that's it. Day one, done. Oh, this is going to be crazy, though. Don't let day one fool you. This is going to get hard as fuck real fast. All right, I'm going to go through my inventory, maybe do some upgrading to the truck, and we'll pick things up here on the morning of day two. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more G9's Taco Truck, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.